Thank you Mommy. so much. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, good morning from Saigon. My beautiful bestie is right here. Good morning. Good morning, Sun Chao. <laughs> okay, so guys, we are currently packing my bags because I will be leaving tomorrow. Unfortunately, my time here in Vietnam is very quick. It actually was very, very quick, guys. But we had so much fun. Leia is helping me pack my bags because I bought quite a lot of pasalubong. It's not a lot, okay? But it felt like a lot. And this is because I don't have a lot of room in my luggage. If you guys can recall, the moment I left Poland, my luggage was 19 kilograms. And my flight from uh, going to Cebu is just gonna be uh, 20 kg. So we're trying to like put everything inside. Leia also actually has something for her fam bam. So I don't know. <laughs> she got this bag, a lot of chocolates. I also have another bag right here, guys. A lot of Chocolate chocolates as well. So look, <laughs> <That's a secret. laughs> she has this a little note, very lovely and so sweet. I miss you so much, Mama. I love mm -hmm. you and Papa as well. Okay, so yeah, we're trying to figure out how can we fit all of this. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. This is how it looks now. This um, side right here is now full with all of my clothes. I also bought some clothes for Scarlett from Pepco in Poland and then I bought a few like just one two t-shirts for mom sis um, Atan as well and of course Papa so it's right here and then I have this like big grocery bag this is full of you know chocolates because you guys know how it is the Pasalubog in Philippines always includes chocolate you cannot miss that so I had to get it and now <laughs> the luggage is full how are we gonna go about this guys how? Do you think? Look, Leia is so determined that everything will be will fit. So I will be flying tomorrow from Saigon, going to Singapore, guys. And um, my luggage weigh like yeah. So I have like 23 kilogram of Vietnam Airlines. So I think that's okay. Hopefully, the one that I've added is just like four kilogram. And then my problem is going to be going to Cebu because I have 20 kg. So probably I'm gonna have to add, but yeah, we'll see. Let's go, let's pack. everybody we are here in landmark 81 park if you guys can recall we were here the other night but then the moment we sat down oh my goodness it started raining pouring it was so heavy and we had to run all the way to the main building and get a grab back home because we were all soaked we were so wet guys we had to go home directly so we are back here today is my last day and we are cherishing our moments together with Leia 
you know what it has been <laughs> exactly a year that we have not seen each other and I am just very happy that I decided well every time I go out of the country I always make it a point to go to Vietnam to visit Leia because you know I do love her and even though she is you know very far from well not very far we're still in Asia but like even though we're far from each other I can still feel her presence every time I'm stressed or I have problems or I'm having anxiety or I'm sad um, Leia has just always been there for me every time I ask her to do a video call and all that she's there Aww. but yeah um, I've actually stayed with Leia for two weeks and I know some of you guys will say that's very long and you guys don't feel it and that's because I didn't vlog as much um, and this is the reason why I just want to spend time with her and she's also working during the daytime so we can only see each other at night and during the weekend so it's weekend today so tomorrow I'm leaving and we are gonna do a fast talk <laughs> okay so Cairo is gonna ask the questions and then Leia and I are going to answer it so are you guys ready <laughs> okay so let's do a bestie fast talk guys all right here we go the first question who's most likely to go to jail <laughs> no one <laughs> no one no one. Oh, who's most likely to it's gonna be it's gonna be me i think <laughs> i'm more like risky when it comes to that yes yeah okay okay next who's most likely to get married no, it's empty. Oi, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be her. It's gonna be her. No, okay, both of us. Okay, both of us. Who's most likely to get pregnant? <laughs> maybe not. I'm not because I'm not ready yet. I'm not. Okay, maybe me. Me. I want to be pregnant. <laughs> well, but in, I have. But I want to have kids. Yeah. So we both, we both want to have kids in God's perfect time. If God will give us that blessing, then we will welcome it. Yeah. We cannot say no. Yeah. Next. Who has the worst temper? Leia. <laughs> Just last night. Yes. Last Leia. night and this morning. Yes. Leia always has the worst temper. But actually, she has never been like very bad to me. Just for, for, for some of her friends or family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like for me, she is the best. Okay, I like this question. Who's the loyal one? Why? <laughs> I'm so loyal. Okay, um, I think I'm very loyal. I was born in the year of the dog, the most loyal animal in the world, right? I, I consider myself very loyal. In fact, Leia is also loyal. I can tell she is very loyal. Yeah, we are both loyal. Okay, next. <laughs> Who's the player? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the player? No one. No one. I don't think. What do you think, Cairo? <laughs> more player. She is and definitely she not the player. I am no not one. a player either. No one. We're both like genuine. Okay, next. Does he or she have a crush? Yes! We I also have, have crush. Yeah, we all have crushes. Can you name one? <laughs> My crush is Robbie. <laughs> wow. see, I'm so loyal. Secret, What's your guys. crush? No secret. Okay. Huh? <laughs> secret. That's a secret for her. Okay. okay. When did you all meet? Oh. Ah. Elementary. In school. Yeah, in school. In school. Since high school? <laughs> no, primary school. Yeah. Who's most likely to get drunk? Ah, me. <laughs> Why me? me? Wait, see, one sip, I get drunk directly. So it's me. Most likely to sneak out. <laughs> you, do you sneak out? Yeah. And yeah, then, I think. And then I'll have to ask you, can you please call my mom? Oh, and yes. We have to ask permission. Yes, so right? it's Leia. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Sex or chocolate? <laughs> I wanna, I'm actually curious what's your answer with that. Collect your chocolate? Yeah. I hate chops. Like me. Okay, let's have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into chocolate, you know? She's not into chocolate, so you guys know what the answer is. Well, let's have sex. <laughs> I'm in sex. You're asking me. 
<laughs> okay, you guys know my answer, I think. Mom is watching, okay? Hello, Mom! Mami miss kita. I'm gonna miss you so much. So much. Say bye bye then. Everybody, good morning. This is the next day, and right now I am heading to the airport. This morning, Leia and I had our last moments together. We had breakfast very early, and she had to go to work. She cannot send me to the airport, which I truly understand. No problem for me, anyway. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed my two weeks here in Vietnam, and I know you guys could not feel that I was here for two weeks because I was not vlogging as much. But yeah, uh, every time I go out of the country, I always visit Leia because we rarely see each other. And though we message every single day, which I really appreciate, but I just really miss her a lot. And we've been through, you know, quite a lot um, this for the last six months, I would say. And yeah, we just needed to spend some time together and, you know, hang out and have that bond again. Leia is really my person, like she's everything to me. We are unbreakable. Like we're more than sisters, I would say, you know, like more than best friends. Like she's, I would, you know, catch a bullet for her. That's for sure. Um, she's, our friendship is so precious and I do really love her. So I'm so happy to be reunited with her again. Hopefully she can come home this year so that have more time together but yeah back to your rea reality guys I'm heading back home finally um, it's been a month that I was away and I'm ready to go back home let's see what's next for me um, in the next coming days but yeah um, let's go it's gonna be a very long day for me because my flight from here is gonna be two hours going to Singapore I have about five hours layover in um, Singapore guys and then my flight to Cebu is not until 1 a.m. so I will be very tired but that's how it is that's part of traveling right so yeah let's go people hello everybody I made it here in the airport and it's currently 10 40 in the morning I am very early my flight has been rescheduled because of the IT outage I believe but uh, instead of 2 p.m. was rescheduled to 2 40 so I think it's fine I will arrive in um, Singapore 30 minutes late but that's okay for me since I have like five hours layover in Singapore so I don't really mind I'm super early because the immigration here is super long like the queue is really long and I want to make sure that I won't have any problems since I have a flight to Cebu and though it's like five hours wait time I just don't want to have any issues going back home because that's gonna cost me a lot right so yeah I'm gonna check in now I am flying with Vietnam Airlines again and they have like 23 kilogram checked-in baggage allowance and mine is gonna be more than that that's for sure but the carry-on is 10 kilograms so I might transfer a few items let's see so I'm not sure if check-in is open I think it's very early yeah it's still closed guys so we might just maybe sit around i want to weigh my luggage though so i can transfer some stuff before i check in
everybody, I just landed here in Changi, Singapore airport and now it's currently 6 p.m. My flight is at 1 a.m. so I have a very long layover here. I have to get out of the airport though and check and uh, collect my luggage and then check in again because I will be flying with another airline with Spoo Pacific. So I'm just gonna take my time because <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do in the airport guys. Uh, I don't want to waste any money here. Not shopping, okay? <laughs> um, I'll probably just find a good place where I can work on some vlogs for you guys. And then I'm gonna upload a video yeah we'll see i'm actually at terminal three so for cebu pacific it's always terminal four by the way guys i managed to reduce my luggage from 27 kilogram down to 22 kilogram how amazing am i <laughs> you guys wondering how did i do that Ugh, this luggage that i'm carrying right now is so heavy and i had to transfer um some of the items that I have um, to my carry-on because the carry-on is up to 10 kilogram for Vietnam Airlines which is very good so that's why I managed not to pay 2 million dong that's like 4,000 pesos 80 USD that's pretty crazy so now I have to figure out how can I do that for Cebu Pacific I think I really have to pay all right this is immigration now let's go people Hello everybody, I finally made it here in Terminal 4. I have checked in and I have to add 4 kilogram for my luggage because everything is automated here in Singapore. So you really cannot check your bag in if it's like more than the weight. So I've had to purchase additional 4 kilogram. So that's gonna be... Um, 25 Singaporean dollars, so it was like 1,000 pesos and then yeah, it finally accepted my luggage It doesn't say my gate yet, but I'm quite hungry guys, so I think I'm gonna grab some dinner My flight is not until 1 a.m. Hopefully it's not gonna get rescheduled or delay um, We're finally going home. Can you believe this? It's so crazy okay um let's look for some food i don't know where my gate is yet but actually when you like search it on google just type in the flight number it will say the gate always like very very advanced okay um let's look for some food i should have eaten outside of the gate i mean the check-in because now it will be pricey here inside Oh, there's a food court, Burger King over there. Let's see. Ah, Crystal Jade. Okay, let's go guys. Oh my gosh, by the way, it was such a struggle. My journey from Terminal 3, that's where I landed from Ho Chi Minh. And now I had to go to Terminal 4, right? So one, Terminal 1, 2, 3 in Changi Airport, guys, are all connected by a SkyTrain. But Terminal 4 is not, so you have to take a bus. And I was really struggling a lot with my luggage since I do have two luggages and I have my shoulder bag. And there was a part where there was no elevator, so I had to use the escalator. And it was such a struggle because my big bag was so huge and oh my gosh, I almost fell. It was so bad. <laughs> but yeah, I made it. I made it. Alright, oh by the way, I need to get a magnet Singapore magnet because we are now going to add magnets to the refrigerator I'm looking forward for that all right let's go
everybody, we finally made it here in Cebu. Welcome back home. Wow, Cebu air. <laughs> it feels good to be back home after a month of being away. Mom is picking me up. She's still on the way here. So we're gonna collect my luggage that is very heavy. Alright, Singapore, Cebu Pacific, where's my luggage? They've already put out everything. Oh, that's good. By the way, I'm so proud of Cebu Airport. Very organized. We actually have the... Guys, we have the e-gate here, which was very convenient. Where's my luggage? Wait, I'll look for my luggage. They've already put everything on the floor. Ah, it's here. Ah, this is very good. Luggage is here. Melgin. Okay. Now, mom is still not here. She's still in the way. So, we're gonna grab a cart. Alright guys, we're gonna grab a cart first. Oh my gosh, I'm so sleepy. But good thing I actually didn't have any seatmate with me. So I was so happy about that. Um, I'll just grab a cart. I left my luggage there. Ta-da! Welcome home! Made it outside of the airport, everybody. I think that's Ruby over there. Okay. I can see. Hi. Hello. I can see mommy in here, guys. They're here. I did not even have any sleep. Ruby is here. Say hi to Ruby. Mommy is there, guys. Open ang likod. Natira ako unlan? Ako ang likod. Open. Pare, okay. Gugat mo tayo. Hello. I'm finally home. Okay guys, I'm now here reunited with Ruby. We're gonna go back drive to the countryside. Okay, let's go. They didn't have to park anymore because 